U.S. reviews strategy of support for Ukraine, Kyiv is stopping its counterattack against Russia. The U.S. is shifting its focus from Ukraine's complete win over Russia on the battlefield to improving its position at eventual negotiation about ending the full-scale war. Politico reported this with reference to anonymous officials in Joe Biden's administration and a European diplomat in Washington. American and European officials are discussing Ukraine's shift to a more defensive strategy over a mostly failed counter-offensive, specifically by strengthening air defense systems and building fortifications, barbed wire obstructions, anti-tank obstacles and ditches along Ukraine's northern border with Belarus. In addition, the Biden administration is focused on rapidly resurrecting Ukraine's own defense industry to supply the desperately needed weaponry the U.S. Congress is balking at replacing, the publication added. An official from Biden's administration explained that the U.S. does not discourage Ukraine from preparing future offensives and stressed that no negotiations with Russia are planned for now. A European diplomat in Washington told Politico that the EU is making statements about the acceleration of Ukraine's NATO accession in order to put the Ukrainians in the best situation possible to negotiate with Russia. Among the reasons for such a change of strategy, Politico names a political situation in the US and in Ukraine, resistance against Zelensky by Commander-in-Chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Valery Zaluzny and Mayor of Kyiv Vitaly Klitschko. The article also mentions another article by the New York Times, according to which Russian President Vladimir Putin is allegedly ready for a truce if Kyiv and the West recognizes the illegally occupied territories of Ukraine as Russian. At the press conference on the 14th of December, Putin claimed that the war against Ukraine will end when he achieves all his goals. Denazification, demilitarization and neutral status of Ukraine.